When we started Sanergy, we had this amazing plan for what we wanted to do to build healthy, prosperous communities. But we knew that we needed a team to be able to execute on this. And one of the most inspiring things for me over these last 10 years has been building a team of 500 committed, dedicated professionals. Watching the growth of our team and watching them lead and evangelize and represent us gives me so much pride. At the same time, it goes just beyond the team that we have and the incredible partners that we have built too. Ranging from the Kenyan government to funders to research partners, Everybody, it feels like, wants all in on the work that we're doing. We were inspired to build sanitation solutions to serve the one billion people that we realized were without great sanitation in cities. We wanted to build solutions that were inclusive, that left no one behind, that worked with communities to understand the problems as they saw them and to build the solutions that really solved their problems. We recognized that the sanitation uh, access not only affects those one billion people, but actually has health, economic, and environmental consequences for all city dwellers. We've taken a systems-based approach to figuring out how do we tackle all of the waste being generated in these rapidly urbanizing areas and put them back into productive use for a country like Kenya, where so much of the economy is dependent on agriculture. And we think that the model that we're proving here that uses pragmatic innovation, good world-class engineering, and cost-effective solutions that are taking in the waste, converting them into useful products for agricultural industry, also can help revitalize the economy by creating good jobs and healthy, prosperous communities along the way. When I was a student, I actually lived in Aslam, Mukuru Kayaba. And so I had first-hand experience of the sanitation and waste management challenges that actually exist in the slum. When I got an opportunity to come and work with Sanaji, I saw it as an opportunity to use my skills to actually solve a big problem that the city of Nairobi and, in fact, most cities are facing. We have achieved a lot of things um, in my working life here at Sanaji. Some of the things that I remember are, first of all, being able to change the perception of the community about human waste. Other accomplishments that are more related to my engineering field, for example, we have been able to move from manufacturing our toilets in a very manual way. Today we have the Vibrocast machine that is able to actually manufacture our toilets in a very automated way. I think the most beautiful story about the whole automation journey that we have had is that most of our staff whom we took have been able to grow and they are now like able to operate these machines and that has been a big achievement for me because the best way as an engineer to grow is actually to grow your team and see them being able to acquire more technical skills and therefore you are confident that even when you fade away, the work that you have begun will still continue. Over the years, Sanaji has steadily grown to a team of about 500 employees from different professional and cultural backgrounds. Every member of our team has the opportunity to contribute towards the success of our goals. So I joined Sanaji more than nine and a half years ago. We had a very small site that was, was less than an eighth of an acre. Yeah? Our technology was wooden boxes for composting human waste. So from then on, we started growing. So we ended up in Kinani, EPZ and we managed to secure five acres of land. During all that time, we then realized that we can't scale with sanitation waste only. We have to diversify into other forms of organic waste. And those are the makings of uh, what is now City Fresh. City Fresh has brought about change in regards to waste, and we are looking at waste from a different perspective that it is a resource. So I remember in 2018 starting off with one boutique hotel within Nairobi, and now serving major international brands of hotels, serving international catering companies. And we've grown from two clients to more than 30 clients in 2021. What my team and I do is to connect the business strategic objectives with what actually happens on the factory floor. So the reason why this is important is because we get to plan the most optimal way for our operations to run to ensure that at all times we have the resources required to meet the waste collection demands as well as the demands for our products. 
from research, we've been able to learn how to run our processes optimally. We've also been able to understand which parts of our process need to be standardized. By having processes that are running optimally and in a standard way, we're able to predict our outputs. A practical example of how research has helped us in scaling our process is through research, we're able to understand that the age of flies is particularly very important in terms of predicting how many eggs you're going to get and then how those eggs are going to grow, how much they're going to grow. And so through research, we're able to understand that that's a part of the process we need to standardize. And by standardizing it, we bring our process much closer to being more predictable. And then the more predictable your process is, the easier it is for you to scale it. As we have increased our operations and worked towards having more customers, we are increasingly moving into looking into technology to be able to help us in terms of how we can be able to serve customers better and in a more efficient way. So some of the things that we've been able to do is to deploy mobile-based applications that help us reach our customers and also enable our customers to communicate with us in a more efficient way. I wish to congratulate Sanaje because you were bold enough when there were no structures, you still engaged that space and you managed to put in place a mechanism for dealing with the waste from toilets. Now you are still expanding the same to deal with the organic waste. Uh, fortunately now the framework that we are putting in place makes it easier for Sanaje to get this waste from everybody. Now you can easily get it from the, the public because they will be compelled by law to segregate waste. If you take, for example, Nairobi, which generates 3,000 tons of waste every day, uh, 1,800 is organic. Your intervention to produce organic fertilizer and also animal proteins for animal feeds is commendable because you see you're adding more value to, to this uh, resource that is available. Over these next 10 years, we need to continue to grow and partner with cities to meet all of their needs. And we need to be a key partner, not only to hear it to the government here in Nairobi, but to cities and governments beyond Nairobi, beyond Kenya, to help everyone uh, achieve safely managed sanitation. My one wish is let's go big. This is the time we've been able to build a great company over the last 10 years here in Nairobi and in Kisumu. And now there are so many other cities that are wanting our services. And this is such an exciting time for us to scale. I think what will attract other cities to replicate uh, our success here in Nairobi is first, it's making cities cleaner uh, and more healthier and more livable. Uh, second, is creating jobs and economic development for residents of cities. And third, it's making sure that there's food security as we connect the waste that we collect uh, and convert that into agricultural inputs and improve the agricultural supply chains. The food that comes back into the city uh, is more uh, resilient uh, and uh, more cost effective. I'm really proud of the recognition that we've got for our hard work. You know, we've been recognized by the Earthshot Prize, by Prince William, by the Gates Foundation as a goalkeeper, the Food Planet Prize. And that's so inspiring for both me, but also for our team too. Because as much as we toil on a day-to-day -day basis, we're getting recognized for what we're doing on much bigger platforms. In the next 10 years, I'd like to see Sanaji impact the whole of Africa and go global. We have the goal. Uh, in the next five to ten years uh, to process more than one million tons of organic waste per year. From a geographical perspective, what that means is more than nine countries in emerging markets. From a Kenya perspective, that means more than just Nairobi. That means Kisumu, that means Mombasa, and other cities and towns in Kenya.